it's so great to see you guys and uh, to be here uh, for this this group. And you know, it's it's awesome that we can we can learn uh, about stewardship. So I just want to read a couple questions and um, let's see what you guys have in here. But so, Gunner, what's it mean to you to be a good steward? Oh, I'm glad you asked that question. You know, the other day I was thinking about this and you know, just really uh, pressing it. And you know, I, I got to thinking that. You know, in the world, we all are, you know, we're kind of like managers, we're kind of like stewards. I believe it. I, I, I'm like, well, I'm going to highlight everything on stewardship in the Bible so I can share it in this group. In this group, I, And then I was in Deuteronomy 23, 13, and it just, it talks about when you've got to go, you, you go out in the camp. That's stewardship. You know what, I just, thank you so much for sharing your passion about this yeah. you know i'd love to have an opportunity for somebody else to share on this su subject if you don't mind leo uh well hey, <clears throat> if y'all are going to listen to me i mean i've really prepped for this class if y'all are going to listen to me i'm out of here oh. sorry that just happened but leo well, well um I don't know about, all about that, but, but what I think is that we really need to be careful with, with the text of the Bible, the context, the, the uh, exegetical scripture and everything. So, so speaking about contextualization, what's important is the context. We gotta stick to what the Bible really meant. I remember when I was doing my doctorate, or was it my master's? It was my doctorate. When I was doing my doctorate, it was really important for me to be able to, to explain through my thesis that, that the scripture The first five books of the Bible, and that's a law being written, and then you, you get into the, the Psalms and the, the Romantic books, and then you get into some of the uh, minor and major prophets, and then when you take the whole thing, then you consider stewardship from that perspective. It's not. Okay. Thanks, Leo. Sure. I appreciate you giving us the context and helping us to understand how to go through the Bible as we study becoming a good steward. James, I've noticed you've been a little quiet. Um, can you tell us what you think it means to be a good steward? It, it would be to be good with being a steward. Okay. So how did you decide to join our group? I called and someone named Joanna told me I should go to this class. So James, did you did you learn anything from, from the class that we, we've had so far? Yes. Did you enjoy it? Yeah. Wonderful. James, how do you, what do you <laughs> think it is to become a steward? I'm sorry. <laughs> Are you okay? I'm sorry, I'm just in a really bad, I'm in a bad place right now. And, um, you see, I just, I have a lot of bills to pay. And, um, I just don't really have the money because my my boyfriend <laughs> broke up with me, mm -hmm. and um, he was the one who paid my bills. And because I can't work, I can't work because I uh, I broke my big toe, and um, I can't walk straight. You know, like it threw off my balance, and it was a really bad break. I mean, like it was bad. I had to cut it off, and now I have like this prosthetic wooden toe <laughs> so I just really need your help I yeah. need some money you know no nobody wants to date me nobody wants to date that girl with the wooden toe yeah. so yeah. you know like I there was this one guy that <laughs> you know what sweetie we are so sorry that you're going through this and we will definitely be praying for you <laughs> Yeah, we will definitely be praying for you and, and just believe in the best and okay and believe in the best uh, for you and and you know we can we can definitely talk after the class about what you're what you're going through and how we can help you. Uh, Joanna, what does stewardship mean to you? Well, it means a lot of things. I think. I mean, the first thing that comes to mind for me is 
you know, my budgeting for restaurants and eating out because, you know, I, I'm a foodie and one of my favorite restaurants is really close to like five minutes from where I live. It's called Scalini's and it has the most amazing pizza with like this garlic and this like ricotta cheese and it's fantastic. And they also have a really great cheesecake, but you need to be careful with cheesecake because one time I got sick and then I couldn't eat cheesecake for like a whole year. A whole year of my life I went without cheesecake. And you know, food poisoning sucks. I don't know if you guys have ever had it before, but there is a tea if you ever do get food poisoning. They sell it like at Sprouts or Whole Foods or any Wow, you really are store. a foodie. I can see how that is I really an area that, you know, would be kind of tempting for you. Yeah. Uh, so, Marty, uh, what do you think about becoming a good steward? Bueno, yo sinceramente, yo sinceramente, yo no sé qué yo hago en este grupo porque aquí nadie habla español, nadie es, nadie me entiende, yo no estoy entendiendo muy bien. Entonces esta está llorando y esta está hablando, yo creo que de un té. Say, Mi esposo like y yo. Mm. Say, pues yo no, ya lo vi un poquitito. Yo está listo, yo está listo. Like, I need your help, you know, because no no one wants to date a girl with with a wooden toe, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so I just really need your help. I need some money, you know, because no nobody wants to date me. No one <laughs> That girl with the wooden toe. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, like I there was this one guy that you know what, sweetie? We are so sorry that you're going through this, and we will definitely be praying for you. 